once again we have some issue everything is working on a random part we have an infinite scroll but what if i search like once again i search for dog yep dogs are here but then if i scroll down we still again have the random images this is because when the page changes on our use fetch image custom hook whenever there's a change in the page we are loading a random images so first we need to check what's the status if there is a search term that means we need to search for the photos so first what i'm going to do i'm going to create a function and i call it uh, fetch search like fetching the search term okay so i will going to move this axios call from here to this function and what's the benefit of this i will show you later but first let's call it so fetch search okay so this is working once again let's try this at the top dog is there cool this is working but whenever the page changes so i can say if page or if uh, sorry if search term is equal or actually not equal to null then i'm going to fetch search got it otherwise search for the random image so once again i can move this into another function called fetch random and here so once again fetch random okay so when page changes we are checking is it for the searching if it is for the searching then fetch search and fetch search is here okay let's try it so search for doc and docs are here but the problem is as soon as i scroll at the bottom it's actually replacing all the images and that is because we are saying here replace the image when you search the images so here we need uh, one more check for page if page is greater than one then we are not just adding the image we want the old images also so let's destructure or spread actually spread the old images then the new result otherwise if this is the first page then just to add or you can say replace all the images so we have a random image let's search for mouse and yeah mouses are there and now if i scroll down for infinite scroll we have the infinite scroll cool so infinite scroll for random and for the search term also so both are working absolutely fine but still i'm not happy with what we have done here so that's okay if we have search term we have a pages but you know we can improve these things improvement always lies in the repetition so repetition is the catch part see the catch part for this fetching the random and the catch part part for fetching the search term so instead of to fetch i can simply create a function which is just saying fetch okay and then now according to our search term i can change the url so once again const url is equal to if search term is equal to null if it is null that means we are just searching for photos otherwise we are searching for search and then photos this means we can move this actual call from here to here and then api and this one that means the url and then these things but query is only for the search term so i can cut this query from here and i can give a question mark and then query if question mark is there then this question mark will not going to work so 
I can remove the question mark from here and provide the question mark here so that if this one is there then question mark is already there then after client ID and page we can remove this and also if searching is there then it's going to have this query the search term and we need to provide and here and client ID and the page we need to convert it into a backticks template literal okay so since we have the actual call according to our need now we can get the catch part from here and provide it like here okay so catch part is there but what about the then part so once again copy the then part from there and paste it here now we have the issue here because one is like uh, fetch search is having this uh, statement where we are setting according to the page and uh, setting the result data dot result but fetch random is not having a data dot result so here on the only fetch we have in this we can say if search term is equal to null is equal to null this means we are fetching the random otherwise we are fetching the search term like this and then we can move this searching on the fetch search like this and this one already have that okay so little bit of refactoring and the code will become so clean okay that's good and then whatever is the thing i don't care i just need to say fetch and let's copy that loading part and also fetch for search term okay that's good and it says response is not there so i think we have the response dot data dot this one hmm so what we can do we can pass the response like this in both of the random and the search like this let's try once again okay that's good in finite scroll working let's search for dog what about cat so we have some issue with the cat <laughs> so four four zero three with the cat search for cat once again hmm we have a issue with the rate limit no issue we can search for dog dog doesn't have any rate limit for us but because we have let's once again search yeah so that's good and you can see we have infinite scroll for this one also woohoo is there any chance for more refactoring mm, i can see here if search term is null then we don't do anything what if i once again combine search terms and page now let's try yeah this is good random picks are there now we only have a dog i think this is rate limited for the dog also cat rate limited dog no dog is there <laughs> so there is issue with the rate limit so sometime it works sometime doesn't okay so once again we have a dog back and yep it is working fine cool so we have improved very very high level of <laughs> refactoring and we can inline this like here and this one that's good also we can inline this one like here yep looking very nice 
and this is how we can refactor things when we have so we go step by step so this is a very long video so i think everything is done and this will create some issue because of rate limit okay nothing is left here and this is how we refactor and clean our code